All right, what is up, everyone, and welcome to another episode for the Pokemon Blue Randomizer. We are going through the Pokemon Tower. We are near the end of the Pokemon Tower, uh, and as I've stated previously, the Pokemon on the outside of the actual gameplay are Pokemon that are either on my team or Pokemon that I want to get from my team. Mewtwo is always a good Pokemon. Mewtwo has the best stats in Gen 1. Mewtwo is definitely a Pokemon that I should try to get. Uh, so, like always, I do prefer getting you to. So we did run into a Rhyhorn here, now we're running into a Rhydon in this same location. Not bad. Um, just, uh, we we'll switch into Lightning and use an Ice Beam against him. Use Egg Bomb. Not a bad move, but it's not going to do not damage, damage me all. I actually Hydro Pump him. Lightning has, for some reason, really good accuracy on these moves. I really don't understand why, but it's just hit almost every single time. So it's not bad. We only have like a few more trainers here, uh, of like the handlers, and then we have all of Team Rocket still up to go. And then after that, we heading our way towards Toga, actually, down towards Fuchsia City. Okay, um, so, Egg Bomb him. I miss, okay. Wait, he knows Dig? What's this shit? What? This shit, he knows Dig. Oh, this was an Arbuck. I, but I got mine as an Ethan's. I've missed every single egg bomb. What a what fucking luck I have. Alright, Dragonair, come on out. Let me use Bell Meringue. That's some fucking luck that I have right there. I don't think egg bomb is all that inaccurate. Okay, I got a rare candy, this candy immediately goes on to Peggy. Peggy. I want to get Dragonite to be a Dragonite as soon as possible. And then we have static Pokemon of Marowak, but it has switched to... Um, a <laughs> weekly tough. Pretty scary type Pokemon. Um, I don't think I have any Pokeballs to try to capture it, so we're just out of luck here. Gonna use Thrash, okay, that's not bad. I have any? No, I don't. Just checking to see if I did have any, because uh, if I did, it'd probably be worth it to try to catch this. If I don't, I can. Part to the afterlife. All right, and then we have all of Team Rocket to go, which just happens to be at the top of this tower for some reason. Like, why? Lore-wise, it doesn't like it's not too much to it. But if you watch like the Pokemon creations type uh, shows, and it makes a bit more sense. Um. I'll use Thunderbolt again. I mean, it's a Psychic type Pokemon. Not really much good against Psychic type Pokemon in Gen 1. Because uh, I don't think Dark is a move type yet. But I think Dark was introduced in Gen 2. Dark and uh, Heal were introduced in Gen 2. So in Gen 1, Psychic type Pokemon aren't really. don't really have. I'm gonna that's it so both anyway. Got to use Haunter. Uh, I'll switch to uh, like Haunter is a really good Pokemon. It knows some really good good moves. So it is one Pokemon that I wanna try to go and catch. Then with the Ghastlies, I wanna try to go and find them and catch them. The bad thing is that you know, Haunter knows Splash, but 
I'm willing to teach HMs to Pokemon. And Surf is an HM that like will most likely be taught to most every single one of my Pokemon just so I have additional type coverage. That and Fly. But these another Haunter. Okay. Alright. Again. And you stomp again. Okay. I made five, I defeated team with it. I'm not going to hit this. Cool. I don't think I want him to forget it. Knowing, knowing that I beat him. It's not something I want to get. <clears throat> so, doing pretty good here. For ourselves, at least. Send out Polymag? Okay, my Pokemon does Thunderbolt. So not bad. Oh, I'll get this down. Sending out Grappler. And I will switch Pokemon to be Lightning. Because Lightning is being. And Water. Uh, and Water. No. Hydro Pump. I wanted to call it Water Pump for a second there, but I don't think Water Pump is an actual move. But Ice Beam it. Not bad. I got a critical hit, so that's also pretty good. Uh, and we defeated Team Rocket. Good. Pokemon are only good for making it out of the Ow. I mean, yeah, it's the only way you can make money is by using Pokemon. It's just something that we have to do, okay? It, that's how we make money. That's how this world works. I've got four Pokemon. At least like the first one's a water. I can use Thunderbolt against them. They're not bad. Am I, am, for, for me, it's not bad for me to use anything against them. <clears throat> a Pidgeot. Okay, so I can use Thunderbolt on a Pidgeot as well. Things are really going well with my Dragonair. Once I get Surf, Jaggy, then I know a lot of things. Hit Monchan. Uh, I'll switch to Lightning. Game against him. Mine out Lightning. Oh, I used Metronome on accident. I double clicked. And Body Slam? Not a bad move. Wow, honestly, did not think I would hit him for one and then also paralyze him. And he uses Explode. Great. And I died. Bad. But no XP is gained. Push the fly. Charizard? Oh, yay. Um, yeah, I'll switch into Draggy. Alright, so I'll try to use like, Thunderbolt against him. Although I don't think Charizard is a flying type Pokemon in Gen 1. I guess he is. I didn't know if he was or wasn't. I know he can learn fly. I guess he is a flying type Pokemon. You have to be able to uh, be flying type to learn fly. And this is Mr. Fuji, who will give me uh, the Pokey Food. Alright, so he just automatically teleports us to power and then talk to him, he'll give us a token for you. Ooh, yeah. Works on all sleeping Pokemon. And then heal. Um, I'm gonna put Star Star U away. Star U is definitely not worth it for me to keep. Uh, and I'll check out Magikarp. I'll check out our Magikarp Smith. If Nick named Onyx Water. Not bad, am I? The star. 
Star's not worth it. Star has a grass type move, which is the only thing probably worth it. Let's check out Onyx Water. So, low kick, withdraw, drill peck, and self destruct. <laughs> oh god. Um. Drill Pack is a flying type move. Low Kick is a fighting move, which is amazing. So we do have type coverage. Self Destruct is a normal type move. Man, I am really, really debating. Do I want to bring? Yeah, I'll bring. I'll bring him in. I will bring him in. He has two health. Apparently, the PC in Gen One games does not heal your Pokemon. I would take him out because we need fighting type moves on our team to go up against Pokemon. It is something that we do need on our team. Uh, and I might as well level him up to get him to become a Gyarados, uh, which is one level away. And then... I mean, we do have a pretty good team so far. He's our... We still have two first form Pokemon. Uh, but let's get on our way to go get Fly, Surf, and Strength. Can't use them outside of battle, but I can use them inside of battle, and I can teach them to my Pokemon once I obtain them. So we're gonna go down Cycling Road, down to Fuchsia City, and uh, I guess we're gonna go up against a couple of the trainers there. I almost never get to fight all of the trainers there because. The game forces you to go down. And I always just like, don't go up against all the trainers because where they are. There's a lot on that road, but if I happen to go up against them, that's good. If I don't happen to go up against them, that's tough luck. So we're now back in, we're in Celadon. And we just go to the other side of Celadon City. Again, I can't use TMs, I can't use level up moves, but I can use HMs to teach my Pokemon. Alright. I don't know where there is a move deleter, so that is going to be something that might be worth checking out. I'm trying to figure out where a move deleter is, just in case I want to teach, make a new move that isn't cut, because I'm not going to be able to, I don't need cut basically after this. I reached eight, I received HM2, which is fly. It's a good use. So I now have a flying type move that I can teach any of my Pokemon at any given time, since any of them are HM compatible. I don't think I did TM compatible, but I did HM compatible. Uh, I think I should probably invest in, I should probably invest in some Great Ball. So, go back and buy some of them. I believe this mart here should have some. I believe I have to go to the first for great balls. There, how much? Oh, this is the end. Thank you. Great ball. So I'll buy 10 great balls. $1,000. You got a lot more money in the newer games compared to the older games. Most things in the older games just cost a lot of money, apparently. Either they, like, have you get more money in the newer games, or stuff in this game costs so much more money. Words. Because I want to see what this location here has in store for me. If it has good Pokemon for me to try to catch, like a Ghastly Hunter. Weezing is not good, in my opinion. But if it has like the Ghastly Haunter line, probably a good portion of them. Um, ooh, I probably should teach Wide Out Water. Uh, I'm gonna switch off to uh, Ice Beam on him. Use a spore, so paralyze, paralyze poison or sleep. I woke up immediately. That's good. 
<laughs> Let me use Ice Beam. I want to go up against probably five encounters. Should I see what Pokemon are in this grass area? Uh, just to see what tile for me to try to catch. I need a ran. Or need arena. Level 22. Good. I'm going to switch off my weed and use fusion on it. This also gives me an opportunity to try to look uh, Onyx Water a bit. This should deal 20 damage to me. And it also gives me some opportunity to level up some of my other Pokemon that I have with me. So not, not a bad thing. But I do want to get Onyx Water to level 20 so it turns into a Gyarados. Uh, because that is actually just that good. Pokemon. Bolum. Bolum was not that good of a Pokemon. I'm going to off to uh, Jelly. Since Jelly is my second level up a Pokemon at level 6. It evolves at level 30. Lower its head. Okay, I'm going to use Water Gun to try to take it out very quickly. Super effective. So, two more battles just to see what other type of Pokemon are in here. Sand Slash, not bad. Um, I don't think I want to get a Sand Slash though. Uh, again, I'll bring out Jelly since Jelly knows Water type moves. Water type moves are really good in this game. Flamethrower? Ooh. Yeah, I do want to get a Sand Slash. I'll use Bubble on him. See what else he has if this doesn't kill. Battle Dance, grass type move. Good move, in my opinion. So I guess I will actually try to catch him. Uh, where are my Great Balls? Did I not have enough room for my Great Balls? Uh, I guess I didn't have enough room for my Great Balls. <laughs> No, that sucks. Um, I don't know if it, I paid money for him. But if I did, it sucks. I learned super. That's a great move, but I can't teach it. Well, supersonic's not as good as like compete, right? Uh, did I pay the money? No, I didn't. Okay. So yeah, I guess I don't have enough room. I have to go to the Pokemon Center here and get rid of some items. Uh, I don't need the old rod anymore. And I think Staryu was the key that you get. So let me get rid of some items. Posit rod. Posit a. He looks fossil for now because I'm not going to need it for a while. Posit uh, ethers are not worth it for me. Like the ethers give me PP on my moves. They're not worth it. I'll deposit my moonstones. They're not worth it. Um, I'll keep my escape rope. Get rid of my coin case. I don't need that. I don't need a lift key anymore. I don't need a scope anymore. It'll be here as well. Since it is also a peep storing item. Uh, I don't like using any of the X stuff in battle, so I'll get here to see. And then the Nugget, I can sell actually. Because the Nuggets don't do anything for me, I could just sell them. So, Pokemon Mansion. So let's go to the Pokemon Mart and sell off these items and buy some Great Balls. Because that kind of sucks that I didn't have any Great Balls. 
Let's sell these nuggets for $15,000. Buy great ball. Okay. Awesome great ball. I mean, he doesn't really have anything else. That revives are good, but not something that I should really worry about carrying with me. Because uh, for the most part, I can heal my Pokemon roughly anywhere. So I guess if we end up finding another Sand Slash, I might catch it. Other than that, we have one more battle to do here before I decide to continue down Psyching Road down to Fuchsia City. And it and Bolt. Not a good Pokemon in my opinion, so we're just going to take it out with Jelly and then basically head on down to the city because I like don't need it. It learned to bubble from me. Let me use Water Gun on that. Ah, we're so close. Using Bubble, not very effective against me. It's out one damage, so cool. If it learned Side Wave from me, that might be a different story. Oh wow. So anytime I put this on, it's So oh yeah, that's right. We have to take out this. Which I can play before you I woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. This is a static Pokemon, meaning it is a randomized Pokemon, so it is a Voltorb actually attacking me. Level 30 Voltorb. It's a pretty powerful Voltorb. Uh, and I think that's roughly the level that it gets turned into an Electrode. Um, I will bring out... Lightning against it. I want to see if I can try to catch this Wolf Torb. No sludge, okay. Not a bad move, especially since it can poison me. Let me use Ice Beam against it. I don't think Ice Beam is going to take it out. Uh, if it does, then oh well. It was a critical hit. Alright. That sucks. Uh, return to the mountain. Um, what's actually up here? Is like a dude that wants to fight me up here? We're going riding together. Okay, and uh, riding my girlfriend. Okay. So it's like a Pokemon aid there. The Professor aid. Other than that, we have... We have Cycling Road. Has a bunch of enemies right here in the beginning. Base. And then once we get to Fuchsia City, I believe next episode is nothing but the Safari Zone. Nothing to really worry about. We got Blastoise. Okay. Oh, and Blastoise. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're finally getting into the areas of the game in which we don't have level up in. The last half of this game just like ramps up in difficulty pretty quickly. But once we get Pokemon roughly to level 60, that's kind of. Kind of the end game that we have going on. Onyx Water is now level 20, and so it will now evolve. I have to use a Pidgeot. I will not change Pokemon. Uh, super effective, but it did not take it out. Kind of depressing. Though. Okay, so this should take it out, and then our Onyx Water will evolve into an actual Water Onyx Gyarados. <coughs> we leveled up to level 38, so we had two level up in that battle. That's not bad. Okay. And two Gyarados. Trying to learn Dragon Rage. A very good move, but I'm sorry, I can't learn moves. That's a challenge I've done for myself for this. I need new moves other than HM moves. 
So, just something that I decided to do. Make the game a little bit tougher on me and make Pokemon Stadium a little bit tougher. Uh, but HM moves, I can learn all the HM moves I want. Uh, since you're a flying type, I will bring Draggy and use Thunderbolt again. So, I use 20 to on me. Not bad. But you are first farm Pokemon, you will die to it. No matter what level you are, you're fairly weak. You bring out a star you against me? No, I have Thunderbolts. The bolt will take you down as well. This is definitely why I like having Jaggy on the team, because Jaggy knows Thunderbolt. Let's use a Zubat. Um Thunderbolt will take down as too bad as well. So, pretty, pretty lackluster enemy fight that went on just now. Need to be the cue ball. Okay. And we get more battles. Come out and play the game of Matt, Pet, and Mouse. Awesome cat, is what he said? I assume it'd be uh, cat and map. Cat yeah, is stupid. Oh, you're bringing that dragon there? Well, you know what? I'm going to use King Sense Lightning Ice Beam and Ice Beam. Easy, just. You're using Fury Slaps against me? Bad. But I know Ice Beam and Ice Beam should be a one hit KO against you. Or Speak to it. We you know. He did so well. Blast choice. Off to Draggy. Turns it into Thunderbolt. That's what it looks like. Thunderbolt. You take it out as well. I like how. The starters are like the most rare Pokemon there 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 is in a generation. However, if you watch like any of the actual anime or stuff along those lines, they're probably one of the most common Pokemon you'll come up with. Probably just because everyone knows them. Is why they're so common. Good. And bring that victory bell? Okay. Bad, not bad. Um, I'm gonna switch off to lightning. Since lightning knows a fire punch. Ah, oh, he's level 33. Minimize. Okay, so it's gonna be harder for me to even hit. And fire punch already is a horrible, horrible trying to hit move. But if I manage to hit you, that's it. You're dead. All right, good. We managed to hit him, so he, he should die. What? Use minimize again. Oh my god, this is it. Ice beam. Ah, I have like a fifty-fifty chance to even hit, and he critical hit me again, which would have done forty some odd damage anyway. I'm bring out flyweed, which is another victory bell. I'm gonna try to use confusion to hit him. He's using Slash. Hopefully this isn't a critical hit, and it seems to be a critical hit. Uh, I feel like I might white out on this. Please, please don't have me white out against this. Uh, Fairy Swipes. All I need to do is hit you once. Here we go. Oh, we needed to hit it once and it died. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and that's where we're going to end the episode. I did not think that that would deal so much damage to me and wipe out kind of like a third or a quarter. No. I think that's a third of my team. Almost half of my team was wiped out. Just from a victory bell.
which I'm surprised. But Victor Bell has one of the one of the best speeds in the game, and since Slash and Razor Leaf already have boost doing critical hits, it just naturally has you know, it, probably a 90% chance to critically hit every single time it attacks with it. But like I said, uh, this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It helps my channel out. I would highly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to watch more Pokemon Blue randomized playthroughs, be sure to keep on lookout. They come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday until I complete the game. Then we're going to be switching to Pokemon Stadium every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, currently Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm doing Call of Duty World War II playthrough. So keep on lookout for that one. Every Monday and Wednesday and Friday, I stream over on Twitch, so go check out my Twitch channel, comment. Uh, the link is in the description of the video, as it is in all my uh, descriptions for these videos. So just go check it out. Uh, tell me how you found the channel. All right, see you guys later.